Let's cross to our Kyiv correspondent, Gulliver Craig. So, Gulliver, what can you tell us about this latest Ukrainian drone strike inside of Russia? Well, it appears that there have been two strikes today, one on an oil depot in Kursk region, one on a plant in Bryansk region, so both quite close to the Ukrainian border. Um, it's not clear whether or not the one in Bryansk region really uh, caused significant damage, but in Kursk region there seems to have been a big fire. And this follows on from two uh, strikes um, yesterday which hit airfields in Russia quite a lot further from the Ukrainian border. And there the Russians are saying that I think three servicemen died and that two planes suffered slight damage. That's what the Russians said. Photos from one of the bases, that's um, the uh, Diagilevo base, uh, I think it's in Saratov region, would suggest that the damage to at least one of the fighter jets there is quite significant. These are bases where Russia keeps fighter jets, some of which, of course, have been used in these attacks on Ukraine. We should stress that the Ukrainian side does not confirm these attacks, does not confirm using drones. It's the Russians who are saying that they were drone attacks and that Soviet-era drones were used. But the Ukrainian side does doesn't deny it either. That's their policy. Various Ukrainian officials have been making sort of ironic jokes about how the Russians should be more careful about smoking in these dangerous, explosive places. Uh, they're finding it quite hard, I think, the Ukrainians to hide their satisfaction that uh, these strikes were carried out. And although the Russians say that they struck down at least two drones, uh, there still was clearly some damage inflicted. And this uh, at the same time as Ukraine's air defense forces uh, had a record successful day uh, in that they shot down 60 of around 70 rockets that were fired from Russia towards targets in Ukraine. That was yesterday. Yeah, you're mentioning those attacks uh, yesterday. What was the effect of all of that, uh, those missile attacks across Ukraine? Well, the thing is, although the Ukrainians are very proud of the very good performance of their air defences, it's 86 percent of the total number of rockets were shot down. Nevertheless, even when just a few targets are hit, Ukraine's energy system is now under so much strain that it has quite a big effect all across the country. There are still power cuts over and beyond the regular scheduled power cuts that we have had to get used to over the last few weeks since the beginning of October actually that are ongoing in various regions of Ukraine. Odessa this time, the southern port city, was probably the worst hit city there. The heating and water were cut off across the whole city yesterday. This morning, according to a message from the city's mayor, little by little people are getting reconnected to heating, hot water and electricity, but uh, it's still not the whole city. So there are still areas of Odessa which are without heating and water. Okay, our Kiev correspondent, Gulliver Craig. Gulliver, uh, thanks as always.